हेलो सिक्स क्लास वी आर स्टार्टिंग न्यू टर्म विद अ न्यू चैप्टर द वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस इन दैट टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स वी ऑल नो दैट एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स आर द प्लांट दैट लिव एंड ग्रो इन वाटर सम ऑफ द प्लांट्स आर फ्लोटिंग सम आर सबमर्स्ड सम प्लांट्स आर देयर एम्फीबियंस दे लिव ऑन लैंड ऑल्सो एंड इन वाटर ऑल्सो सो वी आर हैविंग सम अनदर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्लांट्स विच आर फाउंड The first one is the aquatic plant, which is carnivorous. It lives in a fresh water and uses its tiny capsule, which has opening on them, to catch its prey. We call it bladder wort. Then second, this submerged aquatic plant has a slender stem, which is branched so that the long and thread-like leaves look like bushy cluster floating on the surface of water. Sago pond weed. Third one. common aquatic plant that leaves arising in cluster from its root generally recommended for large tanks walsinaria in the fourth one this fast growing aquatic flowering plant has several fine leaves that forms a cone like structure on each stem horn wort this fifth one this floating plant has a root submerged in water its thick soft leaves can be up to 14 cm long and have no stem water cabbage then the sixth one some species of these floating plants with yellow or white flowers are aquatic weeds floating hearts the seventh one largest seaweed on earth it can grow up to 60 cm per day if the conditions are ideal it can reach a length of up to 30 meter in a year we call it giant kelps this free flowing plant does not have leaf or stem it grows in stagnant water it spreads rapidly and kills all the plant growing in the area by blocking sunlight we call it duck weed so these were there from the uh the world around aquatic plants then we are having another topic the world around migratory birds you know there are birds which are moving from one place to another whenever the atmosphere around them become unfavorable sometime before the onset of winter when snowfall take place for the birds it's very difficult to survive so they start moving toward the area where less tem- uh, the snowfall is not there but it is warm temperature or suitable climate is there first one is it's a big bird it can be often seen standing on one leg near swam or lakes greater flamingo second it's a common small duck found in marshes the male bird has chestnut colored head eurasian teal then it's a small robin like bird male bird has a bright blue throat so its name is blue throat only fifth one the bill of this bird is spoon shaped the bird use it to strain food from water northern shawler fifth one it's a common 12.5 to 14 cm long it feed mainly on insects blith reed warbler it's a medium sized bird with nest on the ground in a dry open area pacific golden plover then it's a large bird with huge wings it gracefully float on the water rosy pelican it is a small duck that breeds in russia it forages for acorns in the wood at night by call teal so now we are going on to some magic of word the third chapter 4 